Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look, regular filming space. It's ridiculous, I know. No, I have been busting my bum um, for the last couple days swatching, so I have some spring nail polish reviews coming for you. Today we're doing Orly, I also have the OPI one, and Moonshine Manny. I have painted flanges coming up. So there will be videos, there are swatches. As always, anything not swatched in a video here will end up on my Instagram. And if you're waiting for something specifically, you can always message me and I can try and get that up or swatched if it hasn't been swatched already. So today we're starting with the Orly Spring Collection. This is called Radical Optimism. I love the name. Look at these colors. Of all of the collections from Orly, and remember I am a huge fan of Orly, so don't take this wrong. This is my favorite spring collection for quite a while. I have really enjoyed this one. I love the color palette. Let's talk about them. Okay, first I want to show you these four together. They do look kind of similar, but as you can see, the color kind of progresses. They're not exact dupes or even super close dupes. So I just wanted you to see those together. And excuse my bare messy nails, I've been making polish this weekend and I'm messy. So the paint had to come off, I'm getting ready to repaint them. The first one we have is Lavella. This is kind of your basic taupey color. I would say it's kind of brown and kind of gray, so I think taupe-ish is a good description of that one. For being so light, this one really didn't have that bad of a formula. Sometimes that's what happens with spring collections. I find um, sometimes, not always of course, some, sometimes the formula is thin. And while I did find all of these to be either two to three coders, depending on your application, I felt like the formula was good and overall I was really happy with these. So you're going to see three coats of Orly's Lavella. Next we have this peach color which is called Everything's Peachy, quite fittingly. This really is just a fun, springy, bright peach color. This one went on really well. I really like this color. This one probably could have been okay in two coats, but I thought that I could see a spot on one of my nails. So again, I did do three on this. So you're gonna see three coats of Everything's Peachy. Next we have Positive Coralation, which, again, fitting name. This has some more pink in it, so it is more of a corally pink color. Lots of coral out there everywhere since it's the Pantone color of the year. This one I loved. This one did only take me two coats, so you'll see two coats of positive correlation. And then more pink and less orange, we have coming up roses. And this is just a great pink for springtime if pink is your thing. This one again did take me three coats. It was very, very close to two coats. I just had a dark spot or light spot, you know, sheer. I had a spot that I felt like I could see my nail and it wasn't completely 100% opaque. So I did go for three. But I tend to do kind of thinner, inconsistent coats, so it's definitely possible that you might be able to get this in two. And when I say these are three coaters for the ones that are, the formula is still good. They didn't run. Like, it stayed where it was supposed to. So I feel like they're okay. So you're going to see three coats of Coming Up Roses. And these last two are so much fun for me. So this one caught my eye right away. I wanted to wear it, but it was very cold the day I got it and it was left in my outside mailbox. So I needed to let it come to room temperature and did not wear this one for a while. This is a great lavender color. Um, maybe a little bit grayish lavender too, but it's got a great like pinky red shift that I don't know if the camera is gonna catch. It does show up on your nail just very subtly, not, not as bright as we would sometimes like it. 
The name on this one is Spirit Junkie, and this one did take three coats. So you're going to see three coats of Spirit Junkie. And the final color in this collection, this is Glass Half Full. It does have a similar formula. It does have a shimmer in it. So this one has a blue shimmer, which I don't think I'm catching. Sorry. I feel like the corresponding shimmer, one that's just blue, in here it's not the exact same shade of blue. When you get that on your nails and it catches that in the light, I feel like it brightens it up and I'm absolutely a fan of it. This one was a two coater for me, so this is glass half full. So that's the early spring collection and I really was pretty happy with it. Even though these colors kind of our gradients down the line. I'm really pretty happy with the color palette of this one. The formulas are not too bad. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!